Now, when it comes to um, finding a solution to the Zimbabwean uh, elections issue, um, as I mentioned in the conversation with Trevor, there are different levels of the issue, um, as I mentioned in the conversation with Trevor, and, and I did speak about the role of the international community in finding uh, the, the solutions for Zimbabwe. Uh, we need to understand that while the international community uh, plays a major role, the process is to start with consensus building at national level. Um, and this is where I believe uh, is the important role of civic leadership to rebuild its connection with the communities to develop a solution around the people's electoral pact where the people of Zimbabwe themselves define ultimately how is it that they want to resolve the question of elections. And then we then build uh, the alignment that I spoke about with the political leaders and from there we build regional and global solidarity. So that's, that's where the, 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 the international community comes in. And so this reflects the wisdom and this is the wisdom of my brother, Dr. Tawanda uh, Mtasa, who said, Global solidarity is the currency of small people who do not have the military might of states nor the economic might of corporates. So it's an issue of solidarity. But in terms of agenda setting, this has to be a locally driven action, a locally driven agenda. And then we then build um, support from there because that support is necessary. And we have precedents here in Zimbabwe of how that works. In 2008, Many of you will remember that we had a failed election here in Zimbabwe. Um, the, 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 the runoff uh, that happened in which over 200 people were killed. In as much as you know, we knew exactly what had happened, and the local organizations did raise a lot of dust about the levels of political violence and that this wasn't an election, this was a war on the people. It was only when the African Union came in and said to Zimbabwe's leaders, go back and solve the problems. Many of you will remember that Robert Mugabe was sworn in quickly and then he rushed to go to the African Union Summit where they told him to go back and get the issues resolved. That's the power of the international community, but only when the local actors have managed to successfully set their agenda. So we cannot resolve the Zimbabwean problems alone. We should not pretend that we operate like an island, but at the same time, we should ensure that communities lead actively in the solutions that we seek.